Hey guys, James Wilson Taylor here for Rock Sound. We are backstage at 2000 Trees Festival 2024. Better lovers on the lineup. The lads join me now. How are we doing, gentlemen? Wonderful. How are you? Not too bad. Not too bad. Welcome back to the UK. Let's start with that right there. And uh, and great to have you here at Trees. You know, it's such a unique festival setting. It's a really well curated lineup. I feel like a lot of people are excited for your set, guys. I mean, just tell me. Yeah, just tell me a little bit. I guess first impressions kind of coming down here. It seems uh, it's a good vibe here today. I feel like. Okay, my very first impression <laughs> was we got stuck in the mud driving in and so i was in my bunk in this little shuttle thing we have and so that was literally my first impression was oh we're stuck yeah so that yeah and then second impression was we're not stuck and when i got out it was like where's catering it was warmer than i thought and it was then too. My, like yeah my fourth impression was I don't mind catering, even though everyone else had a problem with it. I liked the meatball thing that they had. Okay. And um, then, like, my fifth impression was, oh, there's Benny from uh, Gaslight Anthem, and we had a really good talk, cool. catching up with him. Uh, it, all of my impressions have been fantastic so nice. far. I'm uh, glad. That's a good mix of impressions right there. I mean, start with the mud as well. I mean, come on. That's 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 UK festivals all over. That's just the vibe. That's what we do over here. Um, let's talk a little bit about how this kind of project came together. I'm sure a lot of people already clued in, but for anyone who doesn't know, tell me a little bit about how this kind of group came together, how you guys ended up actually putting music together and, uh, and kind of starting this new project for yourselves. Um, well, a lot of people don't know this, but I used to be in another band. Yeah. Uh, that band uh, broke up and most of us decided to start another one um, one of them said I I'm sorry but my professional wrestling career is taking off I need to focus on that as, as happens when most people start <laughs> bands the amount of jobs uh, yeah, that's the case yeah. so uh, the three of us went to work we wrote some songs with Will just thinking he was going to be the producer but then when he found out that Andy wasn't going to do it he said can I and we said absolutely and then you know the story is just that me and Mitch were partying in Vegas on a on a what the fuck are we going to do with our lives kind of trip and uh, Greg just happened to be there singing with Jerry Cantrell I went to see him and I said we caught up with him I said let me send you some songs Amazing. The rest is history. I mean, it does feel like, I mean, it's, it's, it felt like quite a natural progression in a way. It felt like, you know, you guys are buds. It, it just kind of made sense that it's a, ni it's a nice fire around this project. You can tell it's just like a bunch of guys just going, yeah, you know what? Let's see what happens because we know that this, this feels like it could work and could click just personality wise and nothing else, you know? It's like, yeah, it fits too comfortable to not look back and go, oh, this was meant to be. This was, sure. this was put together by like, you know how, like, wh how, uh, what was that? Lou Pearlman, the guy that used to put together boy oh, yeah, bands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like the universe was our our Lou yeah. Pearlman. Oh, you don't want that. <laughs> don't, uh, Google yeah. that. You don't want yeah, that. Right, right. <laughs> right, right. I'm sorry. <laughs> Not all my analogies are good ones. <laughs> a, a nicer, more wholesome version of that yeah, for right. sure. Yo, no, it definitely worked out. <laughs> no, it worked out well for sure. It definitely came in the in the good kind of place. Tell me about building the kind of live show around this as well, because yeah, a little bit of a reputation kind of building here. It's good. You're getting in the rhythm of it. You're kind of figuring out. You know, I guess also at a point now where people are actually getting to know the music, it's not a surprise anymore. People are hearing the singles. What's the live show kind of been like and how's it been developing recently? I mean, it's it, to me, it takes time, you know, like you, what you don't want to do is just, for me, I haven't been in a band like this in like seven years. Like Dillinger's right. Skate Plan broke up seven years ago. So what I didn't want to do is just be like, oh, who was I Who was I seven years ago? Let me put that costume on and try to be this thing. Like they all knew one another and had played together. Like I'd never played with them in their, you know, I was not in their band from before this. So I had to, to me, it was more about not just finding out like what I am, you know, performing wise in this, like where my, like where, what I feel comfortable with and uh, like wh how I express myself now. It's a, cause a completely different energy than Dillinger was, yeah. you know, to me, like a lot of people might think it's similar, but it's not at all. Like the energy is, the, the highness of the energy is there, but the, the place it's coming from is so different and I'm a, such a different person than I was seven years ago. Oh, These course. are different guys, so you, it takes time. That goes for writing, too, and the, the more you play, the more you play. It's. I mean, I feel like yesterday was the best show we'd ever played, and the day before That's that nice. was the best show we ever played, and we're just, it's, it, it, we came out of the gate really strong. Like, our first show, we, we had never even practiced. We didn't practice. Our first time we played together with me with them was the sound check for the first show. Yeah. Wow. And then the first wow. show was fucking... You know, out of hand. And and before before that, the first time we ever 
pretended to play together was when we filmed our first video. Oh wow. So like we <laughs> we like we pretended to play our music together before we actually that's played so our music. Th- Everything's yeah. been really right. organic and that's what's cool about it is that even though we're, we're we've been doing this for a minute we're all professionals and we all have histories like it's felt to me the same way when you're 15 and something forms organically. Yeah. Like you write a couple songs together and then you're like, "Oh, well, I guess we got to get a band name." And then you're like, "Oh, let's book some shows." And it's like, well, we only have four songs out. Fuck it, we'll play them anyway. And then it's like, then we're like, we're gonna write some more, and then we just keep getting better and better and better. And then you start moving away from, okay, this doesn't feel like every time I die, meet Stillinger anymore. It's it's got its own thing forming, yeah, right. and then you know the imagery and the name and the aesthetic and everything about it is now. I, I can really see how it's its own thing. It's not just this plus this plus this. Yeah, and uh, that's that's a really cool thing because the lowest common denominator would have just been this plus this plus this. Yeah. And that's not really interesting. That's a novelty. Oh, this 100%. feels more like, okay, yeah, this is its own fucking thing. You know? Yeah, well, and, you can see that evolving, obviously, with the songs that everyone's heard at this point and other singles. Like, you can see that it growing into its own kind of thing, which is exactly what you guys are going to want it to be yeah, like. Wait till you hear the record. Oh, I was about to say, I mean, what kind of stage are we at in terms of like the more new music and like, and I mean, are you guys? Guys that are always kind of writing towards this project. Yeah. I know the record's obviously done, but like, are you kind of constantly, constantly looking ahead to do more stuff with this? Uh, yeah. Oh, always. This is my. We got six songs we didn't even use. Right. Yeah. This is my. This is my life. I. Uh, this and my kid back home. These. These get all my. My. My attention. And we. So, when we're not writing, we're recording. When we're not recording, we're on tour. We're practicing. We're texting. Right. We're hanging out. We're, you know, emailing about merch. It's. Uh, it's. It's constant. It gets. Right. It, it's. It's. And I think that's just. I don't know if it's a requirement or more of just uh, my personality type. But I can't really do anything without putting everything I have into it. Mm. Um, and it doesn't hurt that our other guitar player is a producer <laughs> that, that has a, a studio at his house. Where, like, there, we were on tour last summer, and it just so happened that we we had like three different days off at his place like they, it was just routed that way and we were just like isn't it kind of funny that we could just go record a song and put it out like like that's just where we are in time with music and with technology and uh, with being you know blessed enough to have the uh, resources at our fingertips where we could just go if we wanted to yeah we could wake up early tomorrow record a song and just put it out yeah uh, so that's always fun and that's what we've kind of been doing which is nice like the first video and song was a surprise out of nowhere then we put the ep out out of nowhere then we just put out a second song for kind of no reason in in like november Mm. and then we're getting ready to write and record the full length we got like 17 songs in the bag and then we just get this idea like let's just film a video for one like not even one that's going to be on the record let's just do that so i i love this feels this, very free yeah i love the freedom of being like maybe we'll put out a 10 song full length maybe an 11 song full length maybe a 17 song full length maybe we'll put it out tomorrow yeah. maybe we'll put it out in october it's uh it's really cool i mean it's funny isn't it? it's like it's it's a recurring theme i have this conversation with so many bands right now because the game has changed a little bit and i feel like even when we go back to your previous bands we go back to that era which isn't even that long ago the rock world was still very much trapped in that it's album it's tour it's album it's tour it's album it's tour but now the game has completely changed for the better i think where you can be more spontaneous right you can just put out like you say you want to put something out tomorrow you could in theory do that it's uh it's a really nice creative place to be in i think yeah that's a lot more exciting to me like i think the thing i value the most is being able to be free and spontaneous and like do what you want and like move on it quickly while the passion's high and everyone in this band has so, has so much drive and brings so many skill sets to the table that the amount that we can just get done in a single day is so inhuman. I've never been a part of anything where like literally tons of shit gets done every day and uh, everyone's doing so much. And like, like you said, we could literally record a song, flip it and record a video for it and put it out in like a week yeah. and then move on from the idea and go back to tracking whatever we were doing. Like yeah. it's very, and we're all like that. Like we're very, I don't want to say ADD, but we're very spontaneous and, and excitable people. Yeah. And when, when you get hot on an idea, like you want to move on it. Like you don't want to be like, all right, well, let's tell the label about it and let's wait for six months and then make it part of the rollout for the record and all this stuff. It's like, you could just move on shit. It's nice. You're getting older. 
too, is it's like, you don't, I don't want to fuck around. I don't have time to sit around, like, mm-hmm. taking a year to move on an idea that we had yesterday. Man. Like, let's get it's to so, it, you it's, know? it's so good to see you guys in this place, honestly. It's good to see you guys Thank hyped you, up for this project. It's yeah. just really, really nice. Before I let you go, something we're asking absolutely everybody here this weekend, because as I said earlier, it's such a stacked lineup here. It's a great festival. It's always a really well-curated lineup. Is there anyone who's out there this weekend who you've never toured with before, never worked with before, where you think, do you know what, that would make a really cool tour, that would make a really cool collab or something like that? Um, I just watched Movements. Oh, I like Movements. Best. I guess technically we did a warp tour with them. Uh, not we. I, yeah, again, I used to be. Uh, tour, yeah, sure. I have personally. Um, I, I'm a massive uh, Manchester Orchestra fan. Yeah. Um, like I mentioned earlier, fans with Gaslight. Um, Unpeople is tomorrow, but we love them. Yeah, cool. We've played with them uh, whenever we've come over here. And we want them to come to the States with us that bad. Cool. We, cool, we are, uh, the three-part harmonies, like, it's, there's such a good, good band that I hope we get to bring them to the States and do something bigger with them. I, I don't know if they're going to be enormous, but I just know that they should be enormous. Yeah, that's yeah. a nice way of looking at it. I'm sure it definitely works, definitely works. Um, guys, I'm going to let you go and enjoy the rest of your weekend, but it's a pleasure to catch up with you. Looking forward to more new music and all that good stuff. Hey, all the thanks best a lot, here, brother. Right? Good to see you guys. All right. Love us, everybody.